I'm gonna try clicking. Clicking did nothing. Okay, so so far guys, I've clicked and nothing happened. Um, let's go ahead and push a mouse. Let's push some. Okay, left and right, apparently. Okay, okay, here we go. Alchemia, or the study, oh, we got the weird, we got the weird letters, ladies and gentlemen. Alchemia, or the study of the elements and their transformations. Authored by a natural philosopher and revered Benedictine brother, Basil Valentine. Containing sacred knowledge on the creation of the Philosopher's Stone and the secret arcanums of nature. Dedicated to his majesty, cheese is going to be annoying, King Rudolf II. Cognitionist, oh boy, we got to get Latin, guys. Okay, so somebody's gonna need to, we're gonna need to get a Latin guy up. We need a Latin person up. Brandon London by E.G. Priestley, translated to English for the first time. Anno, and then there's a year, right? Um, cognition is the god, the god of cognition. That's, I don't know. That's my, that's what my might try to guess at this Latin. Uh, cogni cognitionis est donum die, day, die. Yo, what's up, Brian? You got here just in time. I opened the first page. Gift of God. There we go. Okay. I thought I, something like that. Okay. To the reader, there is no more holy and noble pursuit than that of alchemy. To study his grand creation and marvel at its wondrous beauty, our society is forever indebted to the work of sages past, for without them, we would have no bricks or glass, no ink or paper, no beer or wine, no salts or metals, and no adequate medicines. The goal of all good and holy alchemists should be to aid the poor through chrysopia, chrysopia, jeez, and heal the sick through chemiat chemiatria. However, some would seek to use this great knowledge for their own wicked means that it I write my instructions as plainly as I dare to illuminate for the adept, but make a fool of the unjust. And then we have another Ars Longa Vita Brevis. Um, long something, long live the king. I don't know. All right, and now, okay, what's the, what's the signature? Is that a B and a V? We're gonna B and V. I'm gonna go ahead and write down B V here. I have my I have all I have all fresh pieces of tape out here. We got our Sharpie. I'm just gonna write this over on the side here so that I remember to think about that. B and V. Um, this is this is Basil Valentine, by the way. Authored by a natural philosopher and revered Bene Benedictine brother Basil Valentine. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross that out because uh yeah, we just uh, figured that out, or I did. I caught up. Oh, it's game time. Skill is long, life is short. Okay, guys. Get your Googles up. We got work to do, okay? We got work to do here. Remove the false emblems and leave only true. Rearrange what remains to build the key anew. A Tyrolese printmaker? I, I'm just assuming that, that that is the weird S. Hides but one. A, a, another with the cannon of... Bridlington Faust holds two for all his glory the last in the eternal alchemist's laboratory and then we have and then we have more Latin we have a, we have the uh, the the male symbol the other side is the female symbol so I'm assuming that one is like a key and a keyhole. Looks like we have Arabic. Do we have, do we have Arabic over there? Arabic? Arabic coffee beans? By the way, this coffee is delicious. Montos de Oro, Costa Rica. Same thing I've been drinking for about a week now. So what I'm looking at, guys, we got these symbols up here, okay? So I'm looking, I'm looking up here, um, up that direction. Um, we have the symbols. I think we're gonna have to look those up. It says, remove the false emblems and leave only true. 
and rearrange what remains. So what symbols are these? I mean, we have, what do we got? We got an apple, clover, hourglass, a uh, moon on the right side, and then we have letters on the top of each of these. I'm feeling like, you know, there's, this uh, reminds me of like the challenge puzzle, was it number 12? No, uh, 11, nine? Nine, nine or ten, nine or ten, with the uh, linear B. You guys remember the linear B? Had all those symbols. Um, so, I guess since both pages are up on the right side, at Babel, our tongue did split, but through it, Gematria, a link still fits. The sages did imitate in kind, so their recipes no other would find. Study their works in page and word. The first of each, a clue conferred. They represented iron and, and copper and alchemy respectively. So it might, okay, that's, that's, that's excellent. You're right. Like if we go back to the alchemic, yep. So then we're gonna work all our way all the way up to gold. So maybe that's the book. Maybe the book, well, these are like, that's page one because that's the first element, right? The base element. Hmm, that would make sense. Okay, that being the case, so on the right side. Okay, so I need to get, I need to get a, uh, I need to get a Google page up because I'm gonna, there's no way I can keep up with this. Okay, here we go. Okay, so first thing I want to try to look up here. Um, I want to understand what some of this stuff is, what it means. Okay, so first, uh, Gematria or Gematria, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. A Kabbalistic method of interpreting the Hebrew scriptures by computing the numerical value of words based on those of their constituent letters. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, keep that in mind. That's important. Over on the right side of Babel, our tongue did split, but through Gematria, a link still fits. Gematria, once again, interpreting the Hebrew scriptures by computing the numerical value of words based on those of their constituent letters. That being said, if we go to, if we look this up, assigning a numerical value to a name, word, or phrase based on its letters. It's in Babylonian Greek system of alphanumeric cipher that was later adopted into Jewish culture. Okay. So like, uh, hmm. okay, that's something just to think about. Okay, whoops, I'm sorry guys. So I guess clicking does do something. All right, um, no DJ Tuss, that really helps. That's excellent. Okay, so uh, a Tyrolese printmaker. So if we look at this guy, does not have an entry for him, wow. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Okay. Another with the canon of is a famous printer. Another with the canon. What would it mean? The canon, the collection, the series, the the story, the story of Burlington. I'm writing manually from looking up on another computer. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Whatever you gotta do. So remove the false symbols, leave the literature, rearrange it means to build the key anew. Okay, gotcha. A Tyrolese printmaker hides but one. So what would he hide? What would he hides but one? Was a physician living and it was just as, as. As a Lutheran, he left Tyrol in around 1613, owing to the Catholic renewal currently adopted by the Habsburgs, retain a more religiously tolerant atmosphere, although also as a center of the print industry. 
in Augsburg on becoming a printmaker, he published Kabbalah in Alchemia. He published something called In Alchemia. A L C H Y M I A. The book is noted for its selection of hermetic inspired prints. He co collaborated with Johann Remelin on an anatomical work, Pinax Microcomographicus. Religious canon. It could be religious canon. Yes. Silent Owl, what's up, dude? Benjamin Fawcett is a famous printer in Bridlington. Okay. Another, so a Tyler's printmaker. So if we go, if we go Benjamin Fawcett, we have Benjamin Stephen Michael Spacker <laughs> or whatever this guy's name is. What's up, Colin? We're just, we're just on page one. I mean, nothing's really happened at this point. Uh, actually, just for you guys, I can, uh, I can go back real quick. Um, so the, the opening page, we're going to have to come back to this. I guarantee it to take another look like we're going to have to use something about the names dedicated, yada, yada. Right um, to the reader. It was just like, yo, if this gets into the wrong hands, it could suck. So we've made everything encrypted. Good luck. And then boom, we're here and that's it. We're just reading these. We're coming up. We're generating the information as we're as we're looking at this and we're just going to see. We're going to see what we can put together here. Um, Right now we have the Tyrolese printmaker, which could be uh, Steven Mikkelspacher. Um, can you go back one page real quick? Are you are you screen capping? OK, I went back a page. I hope you grabbed what you needed. OK. Hides but one. What? The, what? Hides but one. What? Hides but one. Because that's going to be important. It makes me feel like maybe it's not Steven. But at, when we type in Tyrolese printmaker, as I did, uh, you know, following that up, Steven Mikael Spocker uh, comes up pretty quickly. So I think the book that 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 thing they wrote in Alchemia in 6015 uh, is probably something that we. Uh, Actually, here's a print from it. Oh, this looks promising. Wait, do these symbols match? So what I've done, guys, is I've gone to uh, what I've done before I check in with what you guys are typing here. I have gone to the um, the Wikipedia page for Mikkel Spocker. I'm just going to if I'm mispronouncing it, I'm just going to I'm just going to own that I'm mispronouncing it. OK, that's just that's it. Um, and then he, there's a print on the right side, print from in Alchemia Kabbalah Spiegel der Kunst und Natur. And on here is a whole lot of very interesting stuff. Like really weird and interesting stuff. And in the middle, in the middle of this is like a whole unlocked like symbol gig. So I'm trying to see. So the moon, I think, sticks around because the moon is on here. Ooh, that's actually pretty close. The T. I wonder what this is. OK. Um, I was curious about the Latin on the intro page. Oh, gotcha. One taken out due to the Tyrolese clue. Another's taken out due to the Burlington one. Two are taken out for his glory. <gasps> oh. Oh, Tusk. I like that. I think the alchemic element symbols are important. Now, it's worth noting, I think, I think you're right. The alchemic symbols um, move upwards. Right? Like the alchemic symbols are symbols that move upwards. So you go from, what is it? 10? No. Iron, copper. Geez, I can't remember. So I think, but I think those are acting like page numbers. That's what I'm thinking, Nix. Whoops, sorry guys. When I click, I guess it goes forward. So if I right click, will it go backwards? Nope. Oh, right click goes forwards, left click goes. OK, now I'll ask you guys another question. 
So first of all, what do these mean? First of all, we have Latin down on the bottom. Does somebody want to look those up and let us know what that means? The abs uh, candida est insigni symbol something um, and lingua lingua. So language matters, language something. Um, we could do, you, do we want to like leaf through the whole thing here? Do we want to leaf through the whole thing or do we want to just step this up? Um, leafing through the whole thing. Leafing through the whole thing could give us just context. Um, it could overwhelm us. I'm not entirely sure. It's I, I'm willing to take the community's vote on this. Whatever, whatever you guys want. Personally, I can be a little too like hyper focused, probably uh, because if I don't, I get distracted. But I think leafing through would be a good idea. Let's leaf through everything. Or at least that's what that's that's how I'm feeling right now. I think I gotta break out of that and leaf. Mmm. Okay, hidden sign. Hidden sign. Excellent. So we have hidden sign. Mother tongue. Mother tongue. You said we had the four. We have the four. Um Oh, you found the canon of Bridlington. Okay, we're gonna leave. I'm gonna leave through. Okay, guys. I'm gonna leave through real quick. Secret is signed. Sorry, it's good to see you. I was wondering if you'd be able to make it. Good to see you, man. All right, let's uh, let's go through. Sammy, yo, what up? Yo, no, your height, no you. Good to see you. They may be. I don't think. Right. Got to Got to cover everything. You know what I mean. Okay, let's leave. Let's leave, guys. Here we go. Now, on the left here, okay, we're going up onto the next two pages here. We're just going to go through, say things, maybe make some observations, go all the way through, and then um, we'll we'll try to we'll try to loop back through, okay? So, group by appearance, their magnitude revealed. If more than pyrite you with you wish to yield. Group by appearance their magnitude revealed. And then it looks like we have alchemic symbols or some kind of symbols. Then we have with when with clarity you hope to f to see, seek the aid of Barlet's key. So we'll have to look there, right? Repealer of the mind's royal act. Only he can bring the unseen letters back with unseen and bold there. The unseen letters back. On the right side here, we have Cicero writes of an ancient machine to calculate the future, surely but a dream. The man with the golden nose arranged the Zodiac as his last work shows. Ooh, he of the fifth month knows technique connections plus word forms a key, so to speak. Um, and then we have this. What now for what's the what's our symbol here? Second above stars. Oh, su super super Stella. What? Oh. <laughs> All right, left side here, we have uh, text in green, the substitution. Ooh, oh, geez, that's okay. Text in green, the substitution will reveal and lift this thrice great seal. First, find Cleopatra's gold. Next, a secret the Sphinx does hold. Seek pen. pen Polis's son, but no, it ends with a fire below. Alkahest will split each in twain, returning to its elements once again, ordered with Eratosthenes' oh, aid. Numbers to letters, two texts are made. Take the first of each in sequence to this proof lend credence. I would like to note that the that he had uh, jerry-rigged the screenshots on the Steam because I looked at them. I looked closely at them last night. Um, and this right page was connected with the the first left page we were working on. This like it didn't show both of these like this. So there was some stuff that was not shown. Seven year island, but OK, identify these lands hidden in many a great atlas in a country marked by an X thus cross Sigmund's alchemist and Napier's bones. Magus of Combwich. And one the 
Bares Baresh Codex owns. Fill a table 10 by 5 with what you find. To lift this Satam Morgana of the mind. Lapis Philosophorum. Oh my god. This is excellent. Okay, so we got all this stuff. Fata, so that is enough. And then we have this on the back. Tabula Daemonis. And that's the end. I can't go any farther. Okay. That's it. So that's that's our that's what we got, guys. It looks like the symbols is so it And it looks like the symbols are are doing the finagle here. All right, so we're back to page one, guys. Let's do it. So remove the false emblems and leave only true. Rearrange what remains. Whew. Um, the symbols at the bottom are probably just for meta later. I don't think so. I think they're the order. Aren't they the order of the alchemic properties for transmutation going from the cheapest metal to the most precious, if you will? I think the floating head is very backscast. Thank you. Uh, this floating head is a result of hitting the 100 sub goal. That's it. That's all it is. People were incredibly generous. Um, some people had were incredibly generous in giving out gift subs, and here we are with Floating Head Friday. What's up? Here, do you want to see what it, what it looks like, what you're doing? I think because you're standing in front of me, you see how it kind of like shows. Oh, I'm shows. wearing green pants today. Look at that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay, are you getting? She's just having a good time now. Okay, great. What this is? This looks funny. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Show me what you got. Oh my goodness. See, you, I'm I'm the floating head. Don't say it then. Show me what you got. Disqualified. Dis <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I'm sorry, Sarah's distracting all you guys who are deep in thought. But alas, I hope to be distracted by you more often. Have a great day. You too. Okay. All right, guys. Let's, uh... So on the left side here, let's just uh, let's uh, take a peek here. They're not in order. I got iron, copper, gold, mercury, silver, tin, lead. Okay. Can you flip to the place, the place one again towards the end? I can flip to it. Yes. Um. Do we think it may be it may be a substitute cipher later on? That's true. I don't know how much we need to overthink or underthink this thing. Those look like uh, those look like substitutions over there that we'll have a good time going through. Piece of cake. Give me, give me. Again. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's dive in here. Let's get some solving going. I'm assuming you were screen capping it, Vori. And if so, I hope you got the screen cap. <laughs> Okay, so remove the false emblems, leave only true. Hides but one. A Tyler's printmaker hides but one. Another with the cannon of Bridlington. Hides but one? Like there's one that'll come from the Tyler, Tyler, excuse me, the Tyrolese printmaker? The cannon, okay, and you said you looked up cannon of uh, Bridlington? It is George Ripley, alchemist. Chemical writings attract attention not only when they were published in the 15th century, but also later in the 16th, 17th. Studied by noted figures. A great deal of myth has grown up. Studied in Italy for 20 years. Became favorite of Pope Innocent the, the Eighth. 
Many years after returning to England, he wrote his work, The Compound of Alchemy, or The Twelve Gates Leading to the Discovery of the Philosopher's Stone in 1471. Okay. We need to figure out what, what we need to figure out what these symbols are. That's and I, I think Ripley is known as the Canon of Brillington. He spent his later years as an anchorite near Boston. Okay, so we have two guys. We got George Ripley and our our Michael dude, Miko Spocker. These are our two guys. Now we also have. I'm sorry. Every time I click, it goes back. Um, we also have Faust holds two for all his glory. Now, are we talking about the... Is this Johann Faust? Is it Goethe? The, the erudite Faust is highly successfully at this time of life is to make a pact with the devil, exchanging his soul for unlimited knowledge and worldly pleasures. Where the pen at? Um, I can't. I can't look up stuff and use the pen. Maybe I could if I do this right here, because I have to do a display capture. I can try. Let me see. Let me see if I can make it happen. If I can't make it happen, but yeah, the pen. We should try to make no dual monitors. I'm a single monitor streamer, man. My computer is a. Uh, um. My computer's a potato. I'm saving up for a new one. That's about all I can do. So, that's where most of the money. If I'm trying to get money together, like that's what I'm rocking and rolling with. I'm trying to get a new computer. So let me get the pen up here and receive it. So what I have to do is I'll switch over from game capture to display capture here. Um, so we will create a new display capture. So now you guys are going to see everything. And then what we'll need to do here is I will need to take the display capture. I'm going to capture over like this. See, here we go. There we go. Something like this. Okay. When we do this, move it like this, get rid of that. Do this, do this. Okay, we should be back to where we were. Now what I can do is open up the pen, and now what I'll have to do is do all my research like down here on the bottom, which I guess I can work with. Yeah, this will be fine. And then, I mean, you guys are basically the researchers anyway, right? <laughs> I'm one, I'm just the one that's uh, collecting and presenting information as you guys work with it. Okay, we have our pen. Yellow is not going to be the color of choice here, I think. I think we'll want to go with something like, I think this is usually good just because it stands out. Okay, so what do we what do we have working? Okay, so what do we have working here? What do we have working here, guys? Um, we have, so Tyra Lee's, this is, I'm going to write this down. We have, oh, this is actually going to be over you guys, isn't it? So I need to write it the other way. So right here, this is Steven. I'm just gonna write him up here, screw it. Okay, so this is the Tyrolese. There you go, so that's a Tyrolese guy. Um, this one right here is that. And then down here I can write, let's see, we have...
George Ripley, which is that right there. Okay. Um, so we just need to remember iron and the solution to the hidden sign puzzle. Word. And so now, thanks for, yeah, thanks for looking that up. I think somebody had already done that, but you weren't here for it, so I don't blame you. Okay, so what we need to work on, guys, is these symbols. What are these symbols? Are these alchemic symbols? We already have somebody saying that between N and E, you have silver, right? So, um, let me see here. Uh, let's see. So, what doesn't, but then we have, like, an apple. Let me see here. Okay, now this is taking me to a choose my horoscope site. I don't know about that. What? Who is the eternal? Let's look at this up. Eternal alchemist. Who is the eternal alchemist? Who is the eternal alchemist? The eternal alchemist. A fantasy series? No. It's gotta be something else. The Encyclopedia Metalum, the Metal Archives? 400 in 2012? No, probably not that one then. Discography, History and Letters, The Eternal Alchemist. Oh, there's a game called The Eternal Alchemist? Eternal Alchemist Albums? Does anybody have any other success with Eternal Alchemist here? Do we have any of the other symbols looked up? Any of these other symbols? So if we go to, so Printmaker hides but one. Which means, in theory, that we can, like, what, find all of these symbols? Hides but one? Like we can find these symbols in in this work here or something to that effect? I'm not entirely sure. I'm trying to see if I can find uh, any of these uh, symbols here. I need to understand this. It looks like maybe salt. What I'm doing is I once again I'm clicking the the image on Stephen Mikkelspacher's uh Wikipedia page that shows a print from the In Alchemia. Um, please feel free to let me know any of your progress so that we can. So the idea here, guys, is we don't want to spoil answers. We don't want to spoil answers, but if you do get an answer, you know, feel free to. Uh, I mean, I don't like hints either. We're working as a community on this, right? So if you're just like chugging along and you just do it, that means the community didn't do it with you. So I prefer that we still kind of try to work on it and then maybe ask for some options or advice as we work through it. And then eventually we'll probably say, okay, well, what is it? If we don't get it, usually we end up getting it. Um, but until that time comes, we are trying to make it a community effort because that's what makes it fun. So if you are kind of like trying to work on something or come up with something interesting, feel free to, uh, feel free to rock and roll. Um, and, and let us know in the chat. Let us know what you're working on, what you think you've come up with. I noticed that there are symbols. It does show the three circles, like what's on the left. Wait, you're talking about that image? So wait, if the image shows that, you know what the image also shows? It has the, si the silver. Who mentioned the silver? Nix. Nix mentioned the silver. Um, on that image, on the tail that's pointing straight up or the head or whatever it is in the top middle, there's a bunch of the, that symbol all over. So that symbol hides but one. Does that mean that? So are we OK, hold on, hold on, like overall understanding, are we assuming that this is a, a like a tireless primer hides but one another with a can of brig Bridlington is two. Faust holds two for all his glory. We're at four. The last of the Eternal Alchemist Laboratory. That's five. Are we saying that there's going to be five symbols that we need left or five symbols that we are removing? I think we're leaving five symbols, right? The NG symbol...
Uh oh, my computer's frozen for a second, guys. Don't worry, I'll catch up. Leave me behind. So the NG symbol is the alchemy symbol for oil on the left. It's a sim so we so these are alchemic symbols then. So we just need to figure out what are all these alchemic symbols and what would a Tylee's printmaker hides but one. Um, what what would that be? What would that be referring to, if you will? My computer didn't have its coffee yet. This is another thing. This is why we need that. We need that. I need a new computer because I it just it can't quite handle what I want it to do. Man, would I love dual monitor. You know what I should do? I need to get my laptop. I need to get my laptop up here. That could be my dual monitor. That's what I was doing when we were doing Cypher. I don't know why I didn't think of that. It looks like a little like a chubby version of soot. Uh, it doesn't look similar enough to actually be soot. Alchemy a print. That's a good question. Hmm. You mean the moon on the right, the middle right? Is that what you're thinking about, Gamma? It could be. But the this moon has a face on it, which makes me feel like uh, that's gonna, you know, the face would have some more significant importance here. Hopefully, my computer catches up sometime soon here. The center one looks like the top of the vitriol symbol. Okay. The top. So what would the top of the vitriol symbol? Why the top? Okay. From the NG. Okay. So this is oil. We said, what did somebody say earlier? This one is silver. Oil, silver. This one is soot question mark. Gotta go, but good luck. Oh, that's all right, Nix. We'll catch up with you, man. My mouse, like, isn't working right now. Sorry, guys. One sec. I done well rip the dream what's up memo how you doing dude do I have to restart my computer So, control delete responded pretty quickly there. Like my mouse just stopped working. I never had my mouse stop working. Okay, that coming up is a good sign. 
kind of. But now I can't click it or do anything with it. Be back in about an hour. We're... Wait, abort restart? Why abort restart? Wait, was there... I'm so confused. I think I gotta restart the computer, guys. I can't click on anything. I don't know what happened. Maybe... Let me try unplugging this. Jeez, that's frustrating. Yeah, something weird happened. I'm, I can't, I'm, I can't even kill Epic Pen. I can't even click anything. All right, restarting. Rip the dream, I'll be back, guys. Wait. See, I can tab into things, but my mouse isn't working. Any thoughts? Unplug them. Let me try unplugging the mouse and plugging the mouse back in. Go on without me, guys. It's not like I need a new computer. I'm trying to save up for it, okay. The mouse moves, but won't click. I've all tabbed into task manager, but I can't click anything. Oh, I see. Um, I can't apparently. Start to type epic. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Then hit delete. You're nuts. Okay. Wow. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Memlo player. Wow. Memlo, you're nuts. And then what do I do? I immediately get Epic Pen uh, back up <laughs> so that I can ruin everything again. But now we know how to fix it. Wow, Memlo is so crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep going. You'd be surprised at the things you would not. I mean, I, I don't know a lot of things, dude. I played Rocket League for like 1500 hours before I knew that the little person symbol next to people meant they were in a party. I mean, I I don't I don't learn things until I need to use them. And then I learn them the hard way. So this was Michael Spocker, right? Like that. And this was George Ripley. Okay. Packed leftovers, forgot to pack fork. Yikes. And with that, I'll go back to lurking. Okay. <laughs> Good to see you, dude. Now we had this as oil. So this is oil. I think we said this was silver. <sighs> okay. Um... So what do these, what do these guys, oh, I need to grab my laptop.
Okay, laptop here. If I could see my screen just black, I would uh, temporarily hit delete Boom Rock League would end and I'd have my screen back. Ah, I see. You, you've done a via experience. Okay, so let's get going. Um, Tyler's print, printmaker hides but one. What is the hiding but one? Hides but one. Hides but one of these symbols, I assume, correct? Which means... He shows one symbol. Hides but one. It means he would show, right? We want to along another with the canon of Bridlington. So do we need to know... Do we need to know then... What is the one here? Okay. Oil is three solid circles. Wait, I thought the one on the, I thought we already had silver, which was N and E. Is it not? Ten silver symbols. Jeez, that seems like too much. All right, so we have George Ripley. It could be the sources are bad, but I would, I would just, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's true. So let's look at this guy. Okay, alchemic symbols. We need to look up these symbols, okay? So I'm looking up the symbols right now. And let's take a peek. We have... Let me just, first let's just get matches for what we're looking at here. If there, if there are such, such matches. Um, now most notably guys, there's an hourglass and an apple. Like, we should be able to find an hourglass and an apple. I do see the three dots. The hourglass and the apple do not seem like those would be alchemic symbols, am I right? T, and then we have that, that T-A-D, that T-A-D that's connected together. Um, let's look, let's look here. So we have, okay, the alchemy, the, 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 okay, we can go here to ancient. Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go, okay. So, what's our symbols here? Okay, so these are these are runic symbols. There's the alchemic symbols. I'm gonna need to go grab another cup of coffee here. I know that gold, we had gold for our... I know gold is one of our, uh, our page numbers. Silver is three circles connected by lines. Okay. So when we got this as oil, who was that? Was that Nyx? Oh, he already left. Oil is three circles not connected. Okay, what about four circles connected? And if you don't mind me asking, where are you seeing this? Where are you looking this up? Hourglass could mean balance, okay. Or sky and earth. Um, Cranky, based on alchemy? Based on alchemic symbols? Or based on some other interpretation? I'm assuming alchemic symbols. Okay, so we have...
So you're, you're thinking the earth... <laughs> Because, I mean, I, I know that Earth, Earth is, right? Earth is the down triangle. S air is the bottom triangle, or sky, as you put it. I would think more like fire and water, but it's clearly an hourglass. Like, those don't really fit into it. It's clearly, like, it's a it's an hourglass, right? It has, it has lines on the side. The triangles aren't complete, and it has a stand top and bottom. That apple is weird. So what would be, let's see, so let's go. Faust holds two for all his glory. Um, there's a flat tire situation, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of, uh, alchemy. If you haven't made coffee with the Chemex, highly recommend it. Very, very excellent. Flat, the flattest. <laughs> no fat tire issue this early in the morning. What's up, Colin? 
Are you here here now? Um, E could be a crappy version of Upside Down Silver. E. There's a lot of E's. It's way too simple when compared to the others. Ancient alchemists recognized the concept of balance of the hourglass. Its very shape is made up of triangles, balance each other out. Alchemists interpreted these triangles representing two aspects of nature, the upper. Ooh, sick. Okay, Cranky. Um, okay. Second language, Celtic, I'm sure they're least serving clues. Let's get here to stream. Um, I'll stick to the arrow. I'll stick to the arrow press. That's excellent. Arrow press is another great method for making coffee. Okay, um, I am. I'm. I'm working on the Faust. The Faust deal here. Unlimited knowledge and worldly pleasures. Do any of these symbols mean unlimited knowledge and worldly pleasures? Because that would be pretty sick. Let's find out. Let's see what the symbol for knowledge is, and let's go from there. Um, let's see here. None of these symbols match any of these. Oh, I see what you're talking about here with the oil. To purify, okay. Oh, I found an apple. I found an apple. Mother. Pagan protection symbols against evil. And an apple is mother. No idea how that applies or if that applies to this. Um, I'm just going to... I'm going to make a note of it. You know what? What about like eating the apple? Knowledge, good and evil. That could be Faust. The last in the... I don't even know who the eternal alchemist is at this point. So we're still waiting on that. I don't think mother is correct. Somebody said that the top one could be soot. Let's get that down real quick. Somebody said this one could be soot. We had silver potentially over on the right side as well. We have the moon. Um, and then Cranky was suggesting the the balance right here. Balance. Um, and then I'll put here earth, sky. Okay, so... I'm gonna look up, let's see. Heinrich, okay, you got, you got somebody you're trying to throw out here. We have Heinrich. Let me check it out, let's see. So an alchemist, why do you say that he might be the eternal? Has art of a lab. Uh, the alchemist laboratory.
eternal wisdom. Eternal wisdom. So we work on alchemy is the amphitheater of eternal wisdom. We work on the mystical aspects of that art. Um, seeking to find the secret prima materia that would lead man into eternal wisdom. If it isn't him, Faust has the symbol in the page. Oh, snap. Hold on a second, ladies and gentlemen. In the page. Oh, yep, there you go. There it is. Faust holds two. So wait, yeah, I see that gamma. So that being the case, instead of looking at what these mean, perhaps we need to be looking at what we're gonna keep. So this one is Faust. This is gonna get a little confusing, guys, but I believe in you guys. I'm just gonna put an F. Faust is there, okay? So that's, and Faust holds two for all his glory. Is there a second symbol on the page somewhere that, uh, that can point us, that points us towards? Or is it just that one? Now we're searching for four circles connected in a square formation. Well, that helps. <laughs> Yo, Gamma, nice find on that. I'm just going to put that on there so that it says, you know, that we, we found it on that page. Now, that makes me feel like that makes me much more confident than we go to, like, George Ripley and uh, Michael Spacker, Michael Spacker, whatever, that we should be able to find something in here. Excuse me. Hides but one, which means shows one, right? I I didn't know. I don't think so. Um, so if you go to the page, you get that you get that print on the right side, right? And then you go to that print. Now I don't see the three dots. I see three dots, but they aren't connected. What I do see... Hides, but one. There are symbols all over the place on that print. Like, actually all over the place. It's crazy. Um, there are... I see the, the arrow in our bottom right. The N and the E. And that arrow is in the top middle on that tail between those wings pointing off of it so if it's all but one we have moons but not that moon We have a T, we have the T-A, we also have the T-A-D symbol, but we don't. So for my mind there, hides but one. That moon looks like a face. It is a face. Or if it's not a face, like you're saying, it looks a lot like a face. So hides but one. I don't know if, like, so this right now. Actually, hold on. So this is 
Steven Miggle Bubble. I'm just going to put that here as a thought. Let's see if we can continue. Um, Faust is going to have a second one. Um, we have, still have George Ripley, who is the uh, the that's the uh, the canon of Bridlington. IS, okay, yeah. And the compass. Look at the triangle in the middle left with the snake as the arc. Triangle in the middle left with the snake as the arc. Mm. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's not a, it's not like a symbolic match, right? I don't know if, yeah, it's, but it is a correlation nonetheless. Noted. I'm still trying to figure out who, I'm looking at Heinrich. I'm looking at hein, hein, Heinrich. <laughs> Heinrich Kuhnrath. Kuhnrath. Writings. Demon summoning? What on earth? Apparently the Eternal Alchemist is a band. So that's going to make this a little bit more uh, difficult. The Eternal Alchemist's Laboratory. Correct. That's why I that's why it's not that's why I'm not actually looking at it. I completely agree. Like we're looking for something hmm. I mean knowing what the symbols mean is one thing, but we don't even know the last in the Eternal Alchemist Laboratory. I think we need these symbols then, and the symbol might just correlate with that. Since uh, Eternal Alchemist is turning up nothing, I know that there's something about uh, something in alchemy about looking up what could be like the key to eternal life. False emblems leave only true reward remains to build the key anew. We're only going to have one with the uh, with the canon of Bridlington. Which. Wait. Wait, who is the canon of Bridlington? It was Ripley, right? But I typed that in. Why is it why is it why is it not showing 
Is there like, do I have like the wrong one? Is there like multiple Ripley's here? There's George Ripley, the... Oh, there's, there's a transcendentalist. I was on the wrong page. And George Ripley, the alchemist. Got it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. A copy of the Ripley scroll. Um, okay, so what's on the Ripley scroll here? <laughs> Believe it or not. Got him. Um, we have... Let's see. We got a weird, like, bird thing. We have a weird sun thing. Weird, we got lots of weird things here. I don't see any symbols, like, strictly related to what we were going for there. Let's see. Some scholars claim that the writings of the compound of alchemy were meant to be read in light of an alchemical drawing done by Ripley called the Wheel. This drawing is, in essence, an analogy of the planets of our solar system, of which at the time Earth was considered to be the center. Ripley encoded his alchemical recipes into this drawing, depicting them as the planets which revolved around the Earth, or more specifically, the elements of his work. In alchemy, there is often an analogical connection made between heaven and Earth, and this connection is symbolized by the use of seven planetary symbols, Sol, Luna, Mercurius, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. These planets correspond re respectively to gold, silver, quicksilver, copper, iron, tin, and lead. Okay, so let me let me look this up. Okay, it looks like Gamma, you're saying so the Ripley. Ripley scroll. You're saying silver is on the Rip the Ripley scroll? Where, where on there are you seeing that? Oh, I see. Okay. You're saying silver is on here somewhere? What a weird scroll. Holy. These are so, this is just weird stuff, man. Two thirds down inside a sun. Okay. Oh, you're right. Okay. You're nuts. Use a bunch of silver in one of the emblem symbols you have marked as silver. Yep. What's up, Ralumpa? How you doing, man? It's good to see you. Canon of I'm saying something separately. The wiki page mentions seven elements, including silver. You have silver marks on the page we are looking at in the book. Sorry, I just got here, so trying to catch up. Oh, gotcha. Um, all we're doing, and so you haven't missed much. We are just looking at, I mean, you can see exactly what we're working with. 
it's all up up here remove the false emblems leave only true rearrange what remains to build the key anew a tireless permit maker hides but one tireless permit being stephen michael spocker another with the can of bridlington george ripley faust holds two for all his glory i think that's johan um johan george faust if i'm pronouncing that correctly um and then we have uh the last in the eternal alchemist laboratory which we have no idea about so we're looking up what these symbols mean which doesn't necessarily like do anything because it doesn't help us get here but it is something to solve and something to figure out that might get us towards that direction um like if we hadn't known that that thing was silver it might maybe we wouldn't have looked that up but that's a really good find gamma nice work find something here hourglass uh-oh do we have an hourglass spotting Oh, in the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That picture. Yes, yes, yes. That was the Hein... The Hein... Hein... Hein. Where do you see the hourglass? Can you help me spot it? Under the table in shadow by the guy on his knees. Under the table in shadow? Dude, that's ridiculous. Holy mother, that's insane. Does everybody see that? Dude, that... I spy with my little eye much? Holy... Wow. Watch it. Watch it not... Watch it be like wrong. Hey, we're, we we run with it though. In cryptology, guys, you run with it until it's an actual brick wall. So this is Eternal Alchemist Laboratory. Okay, guys, that means we only have one, two. We need we need um um Faust here. Yeah, let me verify the letters. I'm going to write them. Uh, I'm going to write them over here. We have O M L E. That's an F. That's an F. Or is it a K? I actually don't. I actually don't know. Maybe you guys maybe you guys can look at that better. I'm I'm kind of seeing an I'm kind of seeing an F, but I could see a K for this L down here. It's not E. It's either F or K. Uh, looking at this right here. So, yeah, since you wrote those out. So, O-M, yes, L-K, at least the L, maybe the K, N-G, correct, and N-E, yes. So looking at those together, we only need two more that are going to be rearranged in some way. Also, the last in the Eternal Alchemist Laboratory. Do you think that that is ordered? It has to be. Re it says rearrange. Remove the false zones. Leave only true. Rearrange what remains to build the key anew. Now rearrange does that mean it needs to be in an orientation, or we just need to use the letters to actually spell out something? Regardless, we're looking for one more on uh, Faust. I'm probably pronouncing that, uh, mispronouncing that, but. I think L E, E F or K. You can make any of them work. But it's I don't think it would be any others besides those. Okay, so so Faust is what we're how to jeez, it's gonna bother me because I feel like every single time I say that, somebody's gonna be like, wow, this guy's an idiot. Not that it matters, but pronunciation. Cause I do, am I remembering correctly that somebody had said you pronounce it in a very like Faust. Faust. Okay, sure. Faust. Okay. Sure, thank you. Faust. You don't need to keep saying it. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Okay, 
historical. Holds two. So we're looking for a moon, the TAD thing. What else? Apple, compass, the four, the four combined. Ascribed works, maybe. Maybe we have to go. Praxis. Okay, so I'm gonna look this up. Let's look this up. Let's look up the Praxis Faustiana or whatever it is. Ascribed works. The moon, okay. Whoops. Let's go back here. Okay, so Praxis Magia. Praxis Magia. Okay, here we go. Dr. Faust's handy guide to conjuring up demons. Excellent. Oh, this looks promising. Read free for 30 days. I will read free for just today. Thank you. Okay. Let's take a look here. It's page one. Page two has him like whipping a standing goat that he has chained up holding. Yeah, that's normal. Symbols on a flag held by a sheep. Why not? That makes sense. The burning bush. Ooh, there's symbols here. No, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything there. Uh, what I did, guys, I the Praxis Magia Faustiana. Uh, if you type that in, you can get, you can look through this. And I'm keeping in mind, we're looking for the TAD, the four moon. Compass. Ooh, here's okay. Here's no, it's just words here on this symbol. Oh, snap. I found this symbol in this thing. This guy. So maybe our SM guy ugh, is showing us something completely different. Which Colin gives you a little more, uh, a little more, a little more weight to the weak correlation you made earlier, but more weight nonetheless. RMP that doesn't do anything for us. There's that symbol, which we knew would be there. And here is this. Okay, yep, I think I think our Yep. Okay, so I we're moving forward, guys. Moving forward with this. Cause there's only two there's only two symbols for Faust. So we need we need uh we need everybody, we are on We're on the Mr. We're on our uh Ty Tyra Tyra Lee's printmaker. We're on our tire release printmaker, ladies and gentlemen. It's rock and roll. Steven Mikkelspacher. Spacher. 
you'll notice that in the clothes of the guys up on top, there are symbols. I'm not seeing any matches. Apple. Candle on the left, hammers on the right. No, in the middle here. So if there was gonna be something down in the bottom, would it be the four connected dots? Would it be? Would it be the TAD? It's gonna be connected down there? No? I don't think so. I bet that apple's in here somewhere, just being annoying. And before it's the apple. Are there other, uh... Other Steven works? Jeez. The symbols on the left and the right, man, like in their clothes. And I'm understanding we're all in the same reading of this, right? Tyler's printmaker hides but one. Did you say you typed an answer somewhere for something? It's vague enough to get my attention. Um, unfortunately, I don't know what we would be referring to. Which is certainly not your fault, my fault for not uh, keeping better track of my thoughts. But I am never gonna be able to keep track of my thoughts. Jeez, this thing is littered with these symbols. You have the hourglass, like it's not as clean as the hourglass is for the Eternal Alchemist Laboratory. Right? But there's like hourglass on the right circle in the middle. Scattered memory listening while walking home doesn't appear to be any, anywhere to enter an answer. Correct, there's nowhere to enter anything in the game. Um, I don't even know if there's like a menu, to be totally honest. It brought me straight to the book and then left click, right click, oh, turns pages. Left arrow, right arrow, flips pages. That's it. Solve everything and tweet Matthew Brown, correct. That is the current, that's the current plan. Objective numero uno. Solve objective numero dos message the person. Excuse me. That little moon, man. These things could, I mean, geez. Being one if we're on the right track. What other symbols are even around? I mean, there's. Is there something that's like, is there some other part? Is there some other part to this? Is, is he the only Tyrellese printmaker? I mean, this makes a lot of sense that it would be in here. I mean, right? Jeez. I mean, you have the three circles, but the, they aren't connected. So that makes sense. Is one of them an apple? Is one of them holding an apple? Man. The symbols on their pants 
a flower. One of them has a symbol of, let's see, like the Pokeball, the upside down Pokeball thing. That's not helping us. It's a strong thematic fit. It makes sense. But I'm like, how much of an I spy game are we supposed to be playing here? That plus sign there on like the n that doesn't that doesn't really help us. If we have enough eyes combing this thing, we should be able to come up with something at at, at some point. You'd think, right? That right side image seems to have absolutely nothing. It's just some dude rolling the cart. Left side dude just like chiseling it with really poor form in candlelight. Looks like there m might be like an A down the bottom right, but that's that's not. That's just a uh, that's hyperbole. That's not really connecting anything. Pokeball again. Okay, it's got to be in the center here somewhere, doesn't it? I'm starting to wonder if maybe that compass thing that you noticed, it may be a weak correlation. And it does say no. I mean, what are we trying to do? We're trying to make a word, right? With the letters. Can we just can we just anagram this and then input the and then just use can we do you guys want to brute force it from here? I feel like we could brute force it with the letters we have and then just input the other two and then search for an anagram that's gonna that's gonna turn something. Although what may come out is Latin, which means that uh, brute force like a uh, brute forcing on a on an anagram solver isn't gonna actually help unless it's English and recognizable enough. There, I mean, there's moons on the right side. Do we just go with the moon with the weird smiley face? The AD on the right side. I mean, we have there's moons over here. None of this other stuff is really going to connect. The only other thing that might connect is that compass down on the bottom. Um, and that would just be because of what you spotted. You have that line in the middle of the triangle or towards the top of the triangle ish, but it's not it's not even close to like a like you said, it's not explicit similar to how these other symbols have been. I am so happy to be solving these again. We have every right to just assume that this should be something that is uh, very clear. I'm sorry, I mean, maybe, maybe we do need to find a different symbol in one of these other ones. Like maybe we had it right. But the Faust, the Faust thing only had the two symbols. I'm going to go back through Faust real quick and, and see. Make sure I'm not creating a problem where there is none. I mean, that symbol is pretty obvious, so that one makes sense. The the O and the M up top, that's like just, that's night and day. No, that's, that's not one. It's not one. And it says two, and boom, there it is. Yeah, every I, nope, that makes complete sense. There's no reason why that wouldn't be the case. There'd be no reason that that would be arbitrary. Like, oh, two hidden here, but there's three symbols that work. Like that's not that's not what's happening here. So I found two very explicit symbols. So that's that just seems that seems to be good. I'm thinking that uh, we're looking at the wrong the wrong image for uh, for Steven here. That's what I'm thinking. All right, Steven. I think we're looking at the wrong image. 
whether, you know, whether intentionally or unintentionally. So let's look up, uh... It's a print from. You know what I mean? Is there, is there... Oh, there are other ones. Ladies and gentlemen, there's other ones, guys. We're busy, we're busy combing the, uh... We need to, guys... There's, there's other pictures. That was a print from it. There are many other pictures. Holy, okay. Yeah, for SM. Um... Jeez, can you make it? Can we get? Can I get a print that's in a higher quality? Holy smokes! I can't see that at all. Maybe one of you guys can. Oh, this one should be. At least I can look at this one because it's. So let me let me look at this one real quick. Oh, whoops. Yeah, so what we want to do, guys, is go to... This is just one print. This is one print. So it, does, it makes sense that it's not on there because there's a whole bunch of these things. Is it Moonface? Good job, man. Which uh, which page was it, if you don't mind me asking? Let's see. Let's see if it was the one that I was looking at. Oh, nice, dude. I had not looked at this one yet. Nice job, dude. Awesome. Okay. So, I'm going to simplify this down. Whoops. If we need this information again, it's all in my head, so... But as it stands, this is what we got. Okay, so this looks like... N... G... L... Question... O... M... N... E... A... D... I'm gonna guess that's an E, but I can't know. Wait, which means can we connect them? Are we just looking for an order here? Like for example, we have the pair N G L E N E. No, because that wouldn't that wouldn't be able to match. Never mind. I'm kidding.
Okay. It is an E. They were going E, L E. Gamma, are you. Have you finagled the bagel? Or are you just saying that looking at it, you can see the E there? It's annoying because I can see like a whole bunch. I feel like it's L E. Yeah, let's rock with L E. N G. I bought the game and checked on my screen. Rock and roll, man. O M N E. Yeah, A D. So now, uh, assuming full anagram and not pairs, that'd probably be the best way to do it. Um, if we're looking at the pairs. And if we were to keep them together, it seems like ad is uh, is Latin already, right? I would think that the N and the G would be at the end of something, which would leave us with L E O M N E. O M wouldn't go here. I think L-E would. A domnalang? <laughs> Who is the mangled one? Mangled one, that could work. Anglo. If we look up mang if we look up mangled one, what does that what does that look like? Does that give us does that hit like a is that a pretty specific hit? relating to our theme. Is that a reference to Satan or some demon or something like that? I don't think it's a thing. Word.
Lemonade. <laughs> yeah. Why not make sense to solve the other pages? It's true. It's true. I mean, at this point, we certainly could. To build the key anew, though, like this would get. Oh, uh, the key! Could it be a key? Angel Demon. Yo, that seems uh that seems on theme if you ask me. That seems uh quite thematic. Well, I think uh, I think we can use I think we can roll forward with that. Golden mean. Ooh, but I like that seems very thematic as well. Like the golden ratio, right? Yeah. Okay, let's just put those there then. Remember, guys, I'm, I'm looking at this key. Substitution. I'm looking at a substitution here. I'm looking at whatever this is as a key that we'll be using probably to try to move forward with that. Um, but what I think right now is that we have the letters. We've gotten things that are thematic on theme. I think we could probably move over to page number two over here. Let's start rocking and rolling. This says, uh, I think, a trap. What on earth is going on with this one? It's like S U a D that like is also an M. T I R T maybe. Oh, this hurts. Why is the K backwards? You guys can try to either confirm or deny what what I have there, but okay, let's uh a babble, our tongue did split, but through it. Gematria link still fits. I want to remind everybody Gematria. Okay, this is using Hebrew Okay, Gematria Am I pointing to my head right here? It might be um, Gematria is what was it? Hebrew translated to to numbers. Interpreting Hebrew scripture. Yeah, interpreting Hebrew. Hebrew. 
by computing numbers. Um, you can look this up, obviously, to get more information, but it looks like there's a whole system in code for that. So that is something we're going to need to use here. Gematria. We have some Hebrew symbols up here. Not much is clear. The sages did imitate in kind. They imitated Gematria, I'm thinking. So the recipes know they were fine. Study their works in page and word. The first of each a clue conferred. So. OK, so let's just make some observations here. Um, we got Greek. We have I'm not entirely sure what this is, right? Um, I think this is Hebrew here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure either one of these. It's an L. AF, so I think this is Hebrew up here. Yeah, I think this is maybe this is actually this is Hebrew up here. I'm sorry, this is Hebrew. So if Hebrew on top, we have Greek on the right. Um, we have a circle, we have what does that say in the middle? Soiga, Book of Soiga. Well, then. The Book That Kills. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so the Book of Soiga, a 16th century Latin treatise on magic. Amongst the incantation instructions on magic, astrology, demonology, lists of conjunctions, lunar mansions, and names and genealogy of angels, the book contains 36 large squares of letters, which D was unable to decipher, otherwise unknown medieval magical treatises are cited. Okay, so we actually need to look at the Book of Soiga, and we need to look at these squares, because those squares, so I'm looking at that. Um, we have two circles of letters here. Okay, free PDF, that sounds great. Holy mother, this looks miserable. Okay, excellent. So I'm gonna pull this off to the side here. I'm gonna look, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at that Soiga here. Uh, for those who don't know, other things that might be important, um, this is, if I can actually get this over to the side here. Um, what was our symbol here? This is a mother tongue. All right, let's take a look. Okay, here's the PDF. 572 pages. Uh-oh. There's another term for the golden ratio. Angel didn't see. Oh, wait, sorry. Did that. Yo, fix us in. Ficky, 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 son. I forgot something. I hope not. What's up, dude? What'd I forget? How are you doing? Okay, so this is far too many pages. Matthew Brown like 
Go through all this, this is crazy. Your body, it's gone, it's true. Um, I do feel a lot lighter, feel like I can move around a little bit better. Okay, scrolling down, where's... Is it this? No, there it is. Okay, so I have... Trying to find the squares of, of letters here. Okay, here's some stuff. Kind of. It has, it has one, two, three, four. It has four squares with the small one in the middle being the one that actually has Soiga written, written on it. So there is... Towards the end of the book, there is like a, a grid as a lot of letters in a very random order. Do we know what these uh, do we know what these other things are meaning here? Do we know what's going on with our outsides? Is anybody working on that? I'm gonna have to join you on that. At least we know the Book of Soiga is a thing for our center. If we're supposed to use that as like a key or a method to uh the sages did imitate in kind. What did they imitate in kind? Study their works. Say the sages works. Are these different sages? Let me type these names in and see what we get. No, that's not it. Um, that might actually, it might not be Greek. I think it's Greek. It might not be. No, it's Greek. So those Greek letters are what, B and H? Why, why is that just there though? B and H, right? Or H and B? Is that a minus? Is it a dash? see an H okay so like an H dash B for but that no that's the that's for uppercase if we're going from Greek to English or something like that I think I'm looking at the same big PDF as you the PDF I was looking at um, had a, a translation so it was a, both a translation the actual text and then the translation as well. For some reason that PDF link didn't work for me. The second one did though. Holy smokes, that looks crazy.
Um, yeah, perhaps. I think we need to figure out what's going on on the outside here. I think that so I could be in the middle. If anything, that's going to be something we have to use to like move towards the outside. potato okay let's look at our uh, let's get our Hebrew alphabet here Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do here, let's erase, let's erase the whatever. Holy potato, did you click? What am I clicking? I mean, I clicked, yeah, I clicked those links. So by this time, you can all look up what the geometry is. I just want to clean this up. Okay, so for our Hebrew here, um, this is a B. I meant click on letters to see the wheel thingy. I, I can't like, I can't click on anything. Like the game doesn't have any interaction. I'm so confused anyway. Um, he okay, so we have this guy right here, whatever that is, equals he. This guy. Oh, I'm doing this so poorly. Equals, uh, I've now clicked on the link and I now see what you mean you click on the letters and it pops up holy smokes okay wow um okay so we need to keep that link around um wow okay cool Now that looks like an actual O. So what about that like little two L looking thing? I think that's Gimel. This uh, what? Gimel. 
Dr. Mel. Uh, the tea looking thing? Is it actually a tea looking thing? I probably just need to make this thing larger, but then I lose the ability to use the screen for anything else. Could be Zayn. I'm just Zayn. It was bad, I know. What about the dash? The dash is not that little apostrophe is not a part of the language. So this is like bet dash boom. And this is a <sighs> Okay, I'm going to Well, let's get that back up, shall we? Okay, we're gonna make this thing, we're gonna go up, uh, make this thing larger. I know it's not gonna all be on the screen for a second, guys. Believe me, I do understand, but I need to be able to read this for a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna redo. Oh my God. So I can't read anything. Okay, let me get this up here real quick. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Actually, look at that. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. that white right there oh that's light from the sun coming in breaking the illusion man I can read it, so that's nice. Okay, do we have any idea what's going on with our... It's uh... so like I said, like, this symbol... So we know what some of these symbols mean. That is Hebrew. So you know what we should do maybe is look up here. Let's use our... Let's 
This is our gematria, our gematria thing here. All right, so we go like this. So, um, bet equals two. Okay, so this would be what? I'm using the game thing minus. What's our T? Well, it's either seven. It's your seven or four. I think seven makes more sense. And then down below that. We have five minus three zero. So that's a decimal, that's a 10. Okay, I see what you're saying here. So this is a two, a 10, so these are math problems, minus seven. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm seeing this right. And then I have a five minus three, zero. Look at 10, what do you mean? Hebrew reads right to left, do you think that's significant? It's saying decimal 10. Oh, I see. The phrases, so decimal 10. We need to understand how this works then. Signing a numerical value to a word or phrase. Okay, so there are the values. Instead of zero, is it 60? I mean, that's, I mean, maybe, the problem is that, I mean, maybe we have to roll with that because, but that's not the exact same, is it? But then again, I guess it is a little different, right? I just want to make sure. Yeah, it looks like everything's looking okay there. So what we have here is we have like a two and then a decimal 10. It says decimal. I don't understand why it's saying the decimal here. The value, so there's the value tables. the decimal value of the letter. So if it's a decimal 10 then, right, because we have like two, two plus 10 minus seven, why plus here? Why not multiply because they're right next to each other? Um, so then this one is, Five minus three. I 
I guess multiplied would make that a pretty large number. So we have five. ATROP, and then we still need to figure out what this ATROP is all about, don't we? Um, so we have five, and then what is this? Five minus 63 for negative 58? Okay, so we can write those off to the side. So those correspond there. And that's why we're gonna have to use this in a connection here. So, okay, this is interesting. So ATROP, what do we think for ATROP? What's that about? Is that the same thing? Are we using... Wait, is that backwards? One of the things about the uh, Book of Soiga was the One of the things was about how the words are backwards in the Book of Soiga. Backwards... Gateway. Sick. We are actually nuts. Holy smokes, we're so cool. Okay, we're crazy. So that means the other ones are going to be backwards too. And this is... Porta. Or... Gateway. I don't know if that's actually staying, uh... Is that staying on? It is. Barely. But hey, we'll take it. Alright, we're nuts. It's official. Can confirm our nuts. Alright. Onward, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this right side here. So this is Greek. Now, are we gonna have to use, are we gonna have to like convert Greek to Hebrew or what What do you guys think? We have B and H, both lowercase. So this is H minus B. Are we taking these and converting them into this for, for the thing? You missed it? Ah, oh, so in the Book of Soiga, Porta, or yeah, uh, in the Book of Soiga, there's a lot of letters that are spelled backwards, um, which kind of tipped off like Atrop doesn't really mean anything, but Porta does. Porta means gateway. Gateway in uh, English. We can convert these into uh, math. These are kind of like little math problems, basically. Um, so. I think we actually convert into Hebrew because it says through gematria, a link still fix, still fits. Did imitate in kind, study their works in page and word. The first of each clue conferred. So are there sages here that we're supposed to know? Like, do we need to look up these people? Um, so what we need to do is we need to look up here. But Porta itself, certainly, yes. Because then we can also look at, uh, what is this? Trithemus? Because for right, yeah, there we go. Oh, so they're people, they're people, and these are the pages. Oh! Oh, snap. Wait a second.
Study their works in page and word. The first of each a clue conferred. The first of each page and word. Oh my goodness. So those are the pages. Oh, those are the pages through. Those are the pages we need to look at. It's not a math problem. Those are the pages we need to look at. Not five and negative 58, but rather this is five. Whoa, that got weird. Exactly, the pages and then the word on that page. Um, so this is actually five. This is a 10, right? 510. Seven. Vignier. Why not? Welcome back. <laughs> so this is so five, ten, seven. And then what was this one? This one was. Seven. We're getting this, we're getting this. Two, 10, dash, seven. This one is five, dash, three hundred and sixty. Where's our porta guy? Maybe a landmark? The Porta Capena was a gate. The Porta Kalina was a landmark in ancient Rome. The Porta Esquilina was a gate. But we need a dude, we need a person. So what's our what's the what, what's the writing? What's the writing uh on the left for Vignier? <laughs> Study their works in page and word. Page and word. That's so good. The first of each a clue conferred.
Corda Alchemica? Oh, snap, dude. Are you nuts? The Alchemy Gate or Magic Portal is a monument. The inscriptions. Okay, how would this tell us what inscriptions to look at or something, though? This isn't... Study their works. See also... Alchemist Prophet, okay. Francesco Bori. What is this? Was a German alchemist, best known for the allegorical work, The Golden Age Restored, published under a pseudonym. Well, that doesn't help us with Porta. The gate has inscriptions. Yes, it does. How do we know 210, 7, 5, and 360 study their works in page and word? I think that's telling us that we need to be looking at books. Um, I don't know. Try it. Uh, it might be, it might be. I'm going to try to continue with this. What language, what languages do we have here? We have Greek on the right. This looks kind of promising. Up there, no. I'm looking at Arabic. Arabic. Arabica beans. I keep wanting to say Arabic because of Arabica coffee beans. Okay, so it is, it is. Yep. So we have. Just for my own sake here, this is like basically a G dash candle thing. Um, and then like a big swooping J. This goes to... Clam. Or something like that. Some kind of a thing above it. This goes to... This goes to... So the eye looking thing... The center there... Maybe A. What about the G looking thing? Should be able to, let's see. Let's look at the, let's just look at the alphabet here. Okay. Um, the G is that is looking, is as far as I'm concerned, a W. The J is an L. Okay, so this. So we need to actually put on here is we have, and this is W minus something, and this uh, J is L. So what is that something? It looks like that something is an apostrophe. Aha, which is our, our uh, 10. Because now we take this, I think we're putting this into our, our 
Gematria, right? So this would be our 10. Wait, is our W supposed to look like a W or are we supposed to translate into a W? What the W actually is. Something interesting for East, excellent. Hebrew alphabet. Our dude wrote a book called Steganographia. Yes, I actually have a PDF of that or something similar to it up on my screen right now. Take eat eta beta and turn it to seven two and look in. And we got which is Latin for guardians. Oh snap, are you nuts? Wait, are you actually nuts or are you nuts? That's the question. And that was East. Oops. 10. Right, but we won't know. We, I mean, remember, this is this is exactly how we were feeling from Cypher, right? All the time. You just have to throw yourself at these things. If you're getting results, you have to move forward with those results. So I love that you came up with something like that. It's awesome. Excuse me. Doing doing work, man. Um, yo, Silent Al, welcome back. No, we have not won. I mean, yes, we have, and we're just we're working back through it again just to make sure we got it right. W in Hebrew, what do you guys think? So on this west, okay, we're on the west here. So we still don't have a result for the top, but you can see we, we've converted. We've done our, we've done our. Gematria here. This is Porta, we're flipping these around, right? So I'm trying to get the Vignere here, right? We have W, the 10 for the dash. We have an L. Now, I don't know in Hebrew if we actually have values for those or not. Like, I don't know. I don't know if we're supposed to look at what those symbols look like. So you converted that to seven and two. Reminds me of Octothorpian, dude, no joke. All those friggin' guardians of all the pathways and everything, right? Colin, did you... So you turn that into a 7 and a 2 just for the value of the number, right? So does that mean that the W would be a... 23? The L would be, what is that, 11 or something? Because then we have this apostrophe here that I'm still turning to 10 for the Hebrew. That feels kind of like cheating, I guess. I don't know. Wow, L is 11. I can't believe I knew that. That's 23, 1,011. I don't know about that. But hey. You know, maybe.
So you would you wouldn't take the ten, okay. Twelve, six, and five, okay. So in which case this would be one eleven is what you're saying? Or twenty one if you're adding them. What do you what do you think about this one? Because we have we have this, which equals W. We have candle thing, which equals an apostrophe in Arabic. And then we have the swooping J kind of thing, which equals L. It may be Aramaic. I think it's Arabic. Because I've been, that's what I've been using and it has a direct match. Wait, what is that lighting up over there? Oh. It's creating a shadow. I guess there's nothing I can do about that right now. It's just going to be creating that shadow. I wouldn't translate the letters to English, but count the nth letter. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so in that case, we would have... There's two... There's two ways they organize the alphabet for Arabic. So this looks like this is six, so it could be six dash one twelve could be six dash one twelve or it could be six dash one twelve. Oh, excellent. Doesn't matter which way you organize it. So, six twelve? Or rather, uh, let me put it this way six minus one twelve. So, this could be thirteen. No, please tell me, please tell me how to pronounce it, because I don't know. I pronounce, I, I don't know, I don't know, you know, I have some things I wasn't exposed to. 13. 
Arabic. Six. So I think six either. Six thirteen. Okay, so it's either six thirteen. Six twelve. Six twelve for multiplication. So there you go. Like six thirteen, something to that effect. So now we just need to, what would be the what would be the vignette that we need to look up for that? Because there's the Vignier Cipher. But I think it's probably... There we go. We need to go to that guy. We need to go to that guy's site. I supposed to know what page I'm on on these things and which 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 work study their works in page and word the first of each a clue conferred what do you think that what is that what does that mean study their works in page and word the first of each the first work the first thing they wrote I mean, Vignier is known for his. Okay, so what was his? What was his alchemic? What was his alchemic work then? Yeah. Use Vignier's best known book. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But it's all, everything is so saturated with the Vignier square, this, the cipher that it just, it's, I don't know which one of these. Let's see, let's try this one. So veneer, okay. East and south. So you're already you're already cruising through south then. Okay, I guess I just try let's just let's just go through all these.
I swear to God, Colin. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. this one. JSTOR? JSTOR let me down. Okay, so this is page one, right? Okay, so front of the book. One, two, three, but this could be six, which means you go down 13. That's just his name, that's not gonna help. So if that's one, we go six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then go to <sighs> 13, if that's what we're trying to do. Eight, nine. Traits, number secret ways. I don't think it's this one, because this one is not, this one doesn't deal with a... Uh... When I say this one, I mean the one that I'm looking at right now, which was the... Oh jeez, how far back do I have to go? How many times did I click the pages? Quite a few times, it looks like. Man, I got excited. I was looking at these pages like crazy. There we go, found it. All right, we're back, we're out. So which one is this, uh, which one is this traits one you're talking about? Okay, I need a... I need a moment here.
The answer is always bacon, man. Yo, Scal. What's up, dude? It's been a while, man. How are you doing? Welcome back. It's good to see you. Colin, are you working on South right now? I don't like West. I think I'd rather work on North. So things we know, um, Raw and Pa, what was that? Actually, I might be able to scroll back up and find it. There it is, yep. Perfect, I found it. Okay, so... This is a, so I'm gonna look at this, this Soiga interpretation. Just listening, not be able to focus or participate. What are you doing right now? Are you adulting? Now, what I don't understand is why, what is this? What, what is this Book of Soiga thing doing? Let me just go to the website and see. Um, yes, please translate if possible. Thank you. This is personal website. Okay, his personal website. Um, now, can I go? Where is books? the book of Soiga on here. Help me out this scene, oh man, mess up his computer, yikes. So what is this madness? Well, my friend. Um, whoops. This madness is Alchemia. Ding, 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 ding. Alchemia, the new cryptology game by Matthew Brown. We, uh, as you remember, we're playing Cypher, which was by Matthew Brown. This is the new, his new cryptology game that has just come out this morning. Uh, we have been slogging away. I feel like we got our, uh, we got our left side. We got this left page done. You're welcome to watch the VOD to see how we were working through that, what we got there. Right now we're working on this right side, and right now you kind of know everything that we know. Uh, to catch you up real quick, um, Gematria, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, is using Hebrew, tran like translate, using Hebrew as a means to like uh, code into numbers. And we have pages and words. Um, the dashes here around the thing. So we have Hebrew on top, Greek on the right. It looks like, I think maybe just English on the bottom. Uh, and then. Arabic. 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 We have Arabic. Arabic on the left. Hebrew up top. I apparently have been slaughtering the pronunciation, so I need to. This is how you learn, ladies and gentlemen. You can't be afraid to fail and look like an idiot. As long as you make a change once you realize that you are indeed an idiot. Um, the sages did not take in kind, so the recipes no other would find. So the works in page and word, the first of each a clue conferred. So what we're looking for is um, converting these into their numerical values, finding, so, and then the letters, the words underneath are backwards. Porta. Trithemius, Selenus, Selenus, maybe, and then uh, Vineyard. 
Um, and then if you look at each of them have like some kind of significant work dealing with um, alchemy. And we're trying to look at the page number and the word. And that's kind of where we're at right now. Other things that we have discovered, Rollinpa linked a, um, Rollinpa linked an excellent observation with the circles here on a guy named uh, Mariano Tomatis, Tomat Tomatis, however we're gonna say that, um, where he has circles that are somehow like I don't know what those circles are about, but there's something about the circles. They have some kind of a format um, where the letters are meaning something. Soiga in the middle is the book of Soiga. Um, and then there are those four squares. We're not really sure why those four squares are the way they are, but it kind of looks like a, a two dimensional pyramid. Like if we were thinking about it that way, um, and that's about it. And then we're just kind of like, we're kind of, we're kind of pushing and pulling in different directions. Trying to come up with our things. Um, Colin already kind of came up with uh, this Guardians here. Uh, once he looked up the number values uh, here for this Greek, uh, went to the thing, did the thing, stuff and stuff, and then he came out with uh, a word that when translated means Guardians. So we're kind of just putting that there uh, for now. Finally found the right Porta. Oh, sick. Italian scholar, Polymath and playwright of the Naples of the Scientific Revolution Reformation. Okay. He was also referred to as Professor of Secrets. Whoa! So secretive, Professor. Whoa. Let us look at his works. Natural magic. On secret codes and cryptography. Meteorology. Okay. So let's do this. Let's go. Let's let, see if I can get this work up here. Archive. Here we go. Better than being a confessor of secrets, certainly. Okay, there's one, two, Maybe? Image 73. What is this? Uh, what do you got here, Colin? I need Ripley anymore, I don't think. I don't need that anymore. anymore. Page 63, word five. Vicinity. Wouldn't it be page five and then word? Because it says, study their works in page and word. I'm willing to be wrong on that, of course. Let me hide this real quick. Hebrew right to left. Is that what we're doing? Got it. So vicinity? Is that what we're rolling with there? <laughs> I 
Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh, this is annoying. I'm sorry guys, hold on. Jeez. Okay, so... Yeah, Golden Meaner Angels Demons. Or Angel Demons, sorry. Angel Demon or Golden Mean. Alright, so we have Vicinity, but then we have another one as well, don't we? Vicinity. That is the. What, what kind of garbage in is that? Vicinity, and then we need, what is it, 712? Defense, Guardians, Defense, Vicinity. Those all seem maybe thematic. Guardians do defend. Um, is there like a spot to input an answer? Or do you just know when you got it? Well, we don't know when we got it because cryptology, you know, can't be rewarded until you get to some kind of an end end goal, right? Um, uh, nowhere to input answers in the game uh, that I know of. Um, any kind of input escape escapes the game. There's no menu in the game. Left and right flip open pages. Left click, right click, flips open pages. That's it. We are simply observing and trying to work on things. When you know, you know, you know. Boom. So right now we have defense vicinity, guardians. Um, Colin, were you on south? Does anybody want to try to help me with, uh, with west here? Did we get the previous page right? We can't know. Uh, but we do know that uh, we have two very good ideas of what the first page is, is telling us. Angel Demon, uh, Golden Mean are both very good uh, options to have in our back pocket for first page. How do we know when we win the game? We'll just know, as Cranky said, when you know, you know, you know. Um, this is the thing with cryptology. This is not... Logic is not the end-all be-all here. It is uh, as much about perseverance and persistence, but it will be pretty clear cipher text um, being converted into plain text. The answer is, the answer is, it's obvious what the answer is once you get the answer. That's the only way I can put it. It's obvious that we, what the answer is when you get the answer. It will be obvious what the answer is not because it will not make sense it will be off theme. It will not actually be a clue that leads you anywhere. It won't be a solution that has blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Has a pseudonym of Salinas. Okay. The Duke of Brunswick Lin Lindbergh. A very aptly titled book. No friggin' joke. Holy. Okay.
I'd assume Latin. Latin is East? I thought East was Greek. Because that's an H and a B. That's a lowercase B and a lowercase H for Greek. I guess the suggestion, I think the idea here is that being English would seem a bit strange. But anyway, continue. 631. Continue your finagle bagel, my friend. Finagle our bagels. And then we'll see what the what the what the shenagle is finagling. Well, let's assume English. I mean, still follow, follow your, finish the, here we go. Okay. So I'm on page six right now of this thing. Um, and you're saying, what do we got? 21 or. Wait, I thought we were going backwards. I thought we were doing sixth page. I thought we were doing the page on the right, going back to the word because of Hebrew. Latin and Greek read left to right. Correct. Okay, so we're doing it the way, so we're doing it whatever way they want it. So, okay, gotcha. Do you know the veneer work we're looking for? No, unfortunately. Um, if you look at the works listed by veneer, none of them have like specific note. Um, and all of them are, of course, uh, in, in French. Um, which doesn't make it very easy. I've tried to search, anytime I'm trying to search for Vignier, it's gonna just take a little bit of work. But anytime you try to search for Vignier, Vignier Square, Vignier Cipher is all over the place. Like you can't get through it. You can't get through it. Uh-oh, Colin. I don't know, dude. You may have to you may have to get good, man. There it is. You didn't do oh, it's a lowercase X. It's a lowercase X. It's crazy. But now you know. Toad's Beal, it is a Beal for sure. Hey, remember that time that it was almost time for me to go? Remember that? Do you guys remember that? I remember that. Uh, do you guys want a screen cap? And do you guys want to screen cap the next page too, if you haven't already? Oh, uh, I didn't realize what time it was. The schedule I think says that we'll go till 11, eight to 11. We actually went 7.30 to 11. Um, I can't believe I can't believe that the time actually went by that quickly. Unfortunately, I have work, so I don't have the ability to push off at all. Um, the one I mentioned, I typed that in, but it didn't give me any result, Cranky. Let me try it. Let me try typing that in again.
Let me try to type it in again and see. I it just wasn't. I tried to look it up and I couldn't. I couldn't come up with anything. Um, it could be just me being a poor writer or a poor searcher. But I could not find it. I couldn't find the link for it. It's the six one twelve. Yeah. That well here here to be. Since it's available on Galica, okay. I may have just missed it then. Uh, to be more specific, this one is six, one, twelve. So you can, so it's probably more likely six thirteen, or six, yeah, or whatever. Um, and that was just me. So this, so this is a, a. If we wanted to go this way too, oh, I have gone into a marker. I don't want a marker. Um, this is a a W dash L, um, but as has been stated before, we aren't looking to actually convert these to English and then do something with it. We're converting with their um, whatever with their alphabet. The the Arabic the Arabic alphabet is arranged in two different ways, but the Arabic alphabet arrangements both yield the exact same result of six one twelve, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, so this is, it's six, one, 12, combine these how you like. Wait, why would it be 631? Just out of curiosity, why is this 31? Did you mean 13? So that I don't freak out and think that I'm way behind. Um, okay, so yeah, so that's that's that. We have guardians on the right. We have defense vicinity over there. I think the bottom would make more sense if those capitals were Latin than English, just because Latin is more um, ancient and would fit the theme a bit more. These circles, uh, Rollenpaw, if you're still here, can you relink those? Uh, the, actually, I think I got it. I think I got it right here. I'm going to link, I'm gonna link this. Rollapa had linked this. If you click on the letters, uh, this is something that Cranky Day also pointed out. Um, you get the circles. Now, I don't know what the format is of those circles. So if you go to that and then you go to the, the circles down there, you, you click on any letter and you'll get the circles that have the same format. Um, as our guy, as our guy, uh, English uses the Latin alphabet. Sure. Is the alp is the is the Latin alphabet uh, rearranged differently at all? ADHD is a hell of a drug, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you can't you guys you guys can't pull me around. Okay, you can't pull me around. Well, you can, but then we're just gonna get lost because I don't know what's true and what's not. <laughs> we're gonna go back to the right. Okay, so. Uh, yeah screen cap if you want you guys want me do you guys want me to screen cap uh do you guys want to screen cap the next page as well um we might do this do we want to do this again tonight i feel like i kind of want to marbles tonight and then we'll play this again tomorrow we'll 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 go tomorrow morning. We'll wake up and uh, hit this again in the morning. Maybe a bit before Marvel says Silent Al. Well, the, the idea, though, is when I go live with see, it's important for me as a streamer to. If I go live, the notification gets sent out and I don't get to like notify people when I've changed the game I'm streaming during the stream. So when I send that notification out, if people see it's marbles, marbles people will show up. If we start out with this and then switch over to marbles, we're going to have a much smaller crowd for marbles. And I like seeing everybody and talking to everybody, at least the regular marbles, right? So at the cost of not like over alerting people, you know? I would rather just go live with one thing. What I could do is the opposite. We could do more chance of winning. We could do marbles and then do uh, 
marbles and then do some of this. We can hit this uh, afterwards, unless I'm like dead tired, which I certainly might be because I woke up very early this morning to get going on this thing. I blame the floating head. Floating head Friday, man. I blame having 100 subs. What a bummer. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are awesome. Uh, I'll ask one more time. You guys, here, I'm just going to go to the next page. If you want to screen cap this, screen cap it. Uh, if you want to, like, chip away, if you end up, like, breaking through this. But I think we still have some work to do on this guy. We need to figure out what on earth is going on. Um, you guys can just pull me around because I don't know what's true and what's not. Sounds almost political there. No, that's me being, like, half kidding. Um, ADHD acts in a lot of different ways uh one of those ways being that i can't actually like delineate information in the same way that i want to so once information hits my head i don't let it i don't saturate it so there are a lot of things that i just don't know that are very obvious to other people um so I, it can seem like i'm a bit of an idiot but for the record the political thing i don't think that's political at all because i think the people who are like Oh, I don't know. Da, da. It's like, ah, you just aren't trying hard enough. You need to try harder. Knowledge is very easy to get. Knowledge is very accessible and very easy to both understand and uh, and obtain. If you're but but what the problem, the, the political problem is the choice of ignorance. That's the issue. It's the it's the it's the willful ignorance all right guys well i'm going to uh i'm going to close up um this is awesome i'm excited to be uh, to be rock and roll with this i'm gonna be thinking about this all day to be at work too which is gonna be a bummer jeez we better buckle up ladies and gentlemen we better buckle up <laughs>